and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit about some uh, dash code stuff. Um, I'm going to be making a simple applica uh, little widget that's uh, really fun and learn some stuff along the way. So last time I just did this a second ago and it took 17 minutes so let's try and see if we can do this faster. So I may go fast but that's what I've got to do. So if you have SDK you can get dash code and let's click on custom choose and there's a bunch of other templates but we're just going to go around with the custom so now i'll slow down a little bit because this is kind of important so let's get rid of hello world and let's make this what we want it to look like so there we go we're gonna grab down here and just drag this and when we like what it looks like leave it go into you don't have to do this right now but go into inspector and if you go into click on it and then go into the circle and the square you can change the color and I'm just going to do a quick into black make it look a little cooler okay we're done now we're going to go into the library and uh, what we're going to need is a search field or a text field search field's better so please go with the search field unless you really don't want to and you have some strong reason for disliking search fields which you shouldn't have because they're search fields um, then you're going to want to go up to glass button somewhere right here yes glass button and you can use whatever button you want but I find the glass button to look the coolest and I'm gonna name it search you can really name it whatever you want um and close out of this for now okay so now that we've got this done inspector if you use the other uh if you didn't use a uh, search field, it's going to not be search field in the ID, so just change it to search field, and that's that'll really help. And now we're going to start by uh, going control click on the search, and go down to events, on click, um, and then we're going to change this to as uh, search go, okay, and we're going to add it. Now we've got our code that's opened up. Don't worry, it's not that bad. We're just gonna do some simple uh, stuff. So let's go into our library and go into code. Under the, we were under parts, we're gonna go into code. And you're gonna wanna scroll down until you find external access. Once you find external access, there's two options, show application, show website. We're gonna go for show website right now. And drag that between our brackets and drag that right in. Okay, so now we actually have a working widget. So if we click on this and we click search, it access a link to apple.com because that's what we have set in this little purple text right here. So if you want to go somewhere else, you can change that, and that's a great way to make links. Um, but that's not what we really want to do. We want to keep going on. So let's go new tab, and let's hit, let's just Google. So now, up here, we're going to look up at the top, and that's really what we want to see. So we have the www.google.com slash search, and then the question mark, HL, and then it keeps going until you see the word that you typed in, which is Google. So we're going to want to copy everything before the word Google that we typed in, or the word you type in, and we're going to want to copy that. And you don't... Don't worry about the stuff at the end that really doesn't do anything. Um, really, it doesn't do anything. So then we'll go in and we'll back to our project and we'll delete um, the Apple thing and we'll paste in what we want it to be. Um, and, okay, so we're done with that now. And we're gonna go in again and let's end this test and we'll go in the library. Uh, now we're back in code not in parts, and you want to scroll up to um, text parts, and when you find text parts, you're going to want to find get text field text, uh, that's what you want to get, and then you're going to want to drag that in um, right after the <coughs> widget dot open URL, and then the website URL, and the parentheses, so drag that right in. Okay, now we're um, almost ready, so we gotta change this around a little bit. So we're gonna wanna copy the variable text field value and all the way to the end of that statement, which 
you can see ends right here and then after that it says replace with ID of text field so let's just copy that and copy it and delete it and now we're going to scroll up and come up here and it's important to copy it because we're going to need it and then it says replace with right after the replace with website URL to show after we enter our website you're going to want to hit command V and paste it and then hit enter enter and then we're going to want to go so now we hit enter and then we're going to want to go down um, one, two, three, four, five, six times till we get to the text field value. Uh, it's space equal to text field value dot value. Um, end statement. So let's copy that too and delete that. And right under the variable text field value that we put in, we paste that in. Um, and now we're going to uh, finish up. So if we go into element ID and we type in whatever we have for the name of our the ID of our search bar so if that's why I said it's easier right now if you name it, it uh, search field because it just makes it simpler so we've got our search field name but it, you may not have it as that so whatever you have your search field or text field ID as you're going to want to type that in so mine's search field so let's go in search field Okay, so we got our search field in. Um, okay, we're good there. And then you're gonna wanna come down here. You're gonna go one, two, three down, and then back to right before the widget dot open URL and the parentheses website URL. And hit space plus space, and then you're on copy up from the line above. It's going to say text field value, and you want to copy that, and then paste that right in with the website URL plus text field value. Um, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so let's run it. And now if I type in Google, I click search, we get Google. Um, so it works perfectly. So that's a quick way to do that. And that's it. So you can really customize this, make it look like whatever you want. You can have pictures in the background, whatever. Um, so let's just finish this up, up quickly. On the back, yeah, stop running it. On the back, you're going to want to come down to this and it says the front. That's what we just got done with the back. You can have whatever you want. You can give yourself credit. Um, it says developer dash code. You can delete that, whatever. I'm going to let you guys play around with that. You, it's not really that hard. You, can, you can't mess it up. Um, then don't worry about the default image. Some people say to don't. Really doesn't make a difference. Um, click on widget attributes. Allow internet access. Uh, allow network access. Allow internet plugins. Um, just to make sure everything's working correctly, just do that. Um, and then the widget identifier. You're gonna wanna after the con dot student or whatever yours is dot and it's gonna say widget dot untitled. You wanna change it to whatever you want it to be named. Um, so go ahead and do that, and then version 1.0, unless it's something else, which I don't think you would have if you're watching this, and then your widget icon. So right now it's pretty blank, but if you want to import your own like custom whatever, so I'll go quickly into my photo library, and I'll just set it as an iPhone photo that I have of my iPhone, but you would have it in search or something like that. Then you want to go to share, and then you want to put your name right here, whatever you want your name to be, so name it whatever and then you want to click save to disk and then you're going to want to put it on your desktop or whatever and then you can drag it right into your dashboard and it'll be in your dashboard and stuff and you're pretty much good to go then and you're also going to want to save the dash code file that you did this in as save as whatever it is or whatever you want to name it and then you're good so let's go back to too quickly so uh thanks for watching i uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, I'd love to hear your ideas, anything else you guys have to say. Uh, two great shows uh, on YouTube, two great channels, Tim and Ryder 96 and Jay Devil Fan 26 And they're right down here. Uh, both are great. Um, please go check out some of their videos. Uh, and I'll teach you guys how to do this in another later video. And So uh, thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.